Thanks for checking out my dynamic warm-up. This is a shorter version and should be able to be completed in under five minutes. should also be able to do it in any location you wish, whether that's on the first tee, the locker room, or even in the parking lot. If you're looking for something a little bit more specific to your individual needs, feel free to reach out to me. That is what I typically do with most of my clients, but this one works great in a pinch. Movement one is a forward lunge with ipsilateral twist. During this movement, you're going to lunge forward, create a stable base, and then on top of that stable base, you're going to create rotation of the spine. This will help warm up the movements that we plan to make in the golf swing. For me, I like to do 5 to 10 repetitions per side, but it's really about how it feels for you, so you can do as many as you need to to make sure you feel warmed up. Movement 2 is a lateral lunge with an ipsilateral twist. We're going to apply many of the same principles from movement 1 and movement 2. However, we're going to apply these movements in the frontal plane. Just like when you're standing next to a golf ball, and your force development includes a lateral movement, which transitions into rotation of the spine. Again, I like about 5 to 10 repetitions per side, but you should really pick a repetition number that fits you and makes you feel ready to golf. Movement 3 is called a club pull apart. What you're going to do is position your hands at various distances from one another on the club shaft. You're then going to pull with an outward motion like you're trying to stretch the club shaft longer. You're going to feel this in the muscles of your upper back, most likely right between your shoulder blades, but you may also feel it in the back part of your shoulder. I typically work my way up the club shaft once from each direction, progressively moving my hands apart, but just like the other exercises, you can adapt it to fit you. Movement four is called hip twist. You're going to do these with stable shoulders that don't move at all, and you're going to rotate your hips in each direction, hoping to avoid sway or slide. This pure rotation is what you want on the golf course. You can check this yourself by drawing lines down each side of your camera and making sure your hips don't slide or sway to hit those lines. Movement five is shoulder twist. You're going to reverse the principles from the last movement and try and keep your hips still and rotate your shoulders in each direction. You want to try and maintain the same spine angle as you would during your golf swing. The final and sixth movement are called sequence turns. You're going to add the last two together, but put them in the sequence you'll make them on the golf course. This sequence is shoulders, hips, hips, shoulders. This sequence is tremendously important to making a good, efficient golf swing. I hope this short and dynamic warm-up helps you on the golf course. If you have any questions that arise, or you feel like you can't make these movements correctly, feel free to reach out to me via email.